Hello, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. I often try to drive home the point that to get the most out of any detailing product, preparation is absolute key. And when it comes to preparing the surface of your clear coat for wax, a sealant, a spray coating, a professional coating, at least an exfoliation, um, if not a one or multi-step correction, is recommended for that surface in order to pre prepare it properly for uh, receiving that wax or sealant or coating. And if you're not, if, if the painted surface is not in need of a correction, at least the exfoliation with a uh, polish cleaner. Here's another one. Uh, I've given you uh, quite a few options when it comes to polish cleaners. Here's another one to add to the list. This is another one that is quite inexpensive. You can get it just about anywhere. You can order it from AutoGeek, Autotopia, Amazon, all those places you can think of, detailed image. Easy to get and easy to use, and I'm going to show you today how to use it. P21S is a cleaner polish. It's about $14, $15. You can get it just about anywhere. It is perfect for preparing the surface of your car, truck, or motorcycle for a wax, a sealant, or a coating, whatever you want to apply. It can remove water spots, etching, some minor swirling, like we're going to find on the X5 here. Um, this has medium to soft clear coat here. So, you can be successful using this by hand, and that's kind of what this uh, product was intended for, use more by hand. But I'm going to show you a little bit later, you can be successful teaming it up with the right pad, depending on the circumstances, the hardness of the clear coat. So what you're going to need is a product itself, shake it up vigorously, get that rich formula mixed up, pop off the cap, grab a microfiber applicator, and you're just going to need a little bit. And this is the consistency. It's kind of thick, almost like milk, a milkshake. No abrasives. It's mostly cleaners, surfactants. Um, no fillers either. And I will show you that you definitely want to use an IPA solution when you're done using this anyways, because there is going to be a little bit of polish residue. So with a little bit of firmness, like uh, equivalent to a firm handshake, you want to use the microfiber pad and remove the imperfections. By hand, it will take you quite a long time. That's why I urge you to get a polisher, but it can be done. Immediately wipe off the residue from the area you are working on and move on. Effective by hand, even more effective, and a whole heck of a lot quicker by a machine. Over on this side of the hood, we have etching staining. We have um, some outlines from bug splatter that are working its way through the clear coat already. And some minor swirling. We're going to remove that by machine this time with the same product. We're going to grab a polisher and the 50-50 microfiber pad. And just a little bit, one dot. One small drop on either side of the pad is all you're going to need because a little bit goes a very long way and we can get to work. This is also excellent for removing traffic film bonded contaminants. I used this on a white F-150 with about 175,000 miles. And you could see the outline where we stopped. It just made the paint brighter and cleaner and is perfect for preparing the surface for your type or your chosen protection.
There will be just a little bit of residue left over when you're finished working the area, so make sure you have a nice clean microfiber nearby. As I bring you in close, you'll see we've removed the etching, the outline from the bug splatter, the minor swirling. With a product that's easy to use like this, and if you grab a machine and get to know a polisher, you're going to be able to get around the car very quick, just like this. We have the hood complete, and before we move on to a different panel, I just wanted to show you, I really brought out the gloss, uh, the depth, the clarity. I'm very happy with it so far. Nothing left on the hood itself, no scratching, no marring, uh, no etching. One trip around the car is all it takes. It now looks fantastic, glossy, it's squeaky clean, and it's just one small step away from being able to apply your wax, your sealant, or your coating, and that is just grabbing an IP solution at about 12.5% and going over the car just one more time to make sure there's no residue left over whatsoever. Time to head over to the test panel. This test panel is roughed up with 3000 grit. And we're going to do correction using this fluid, even though it has no abrasive in it, as I mentioned earlier. But in other videos, I did show you the importance of teaming any correction fluid up or cleaner with the right pad. And you can be very, very effective as the pad is one of the most important things you can choose when it comes to correction. We're just going to put one little drop on there, and we'll do a crisscross pattern that's equal to two passes, and we'll see how it turns out.
Okay, with the residue removed, we'll bring you in closer, and I'll let the screen do the talking for me. Um, effective, doing a little bit of correction, light correction. Very effective at cleaning, removing traffic film. So here's another product to add to your list. All right, that will bring us to the final thoughts segment of the video. When preparing the surface for a wax, a sealant, or a coating, at least use something like this, a cleaner polish, even if it's by hand. I really do urge you to pick up a, a entry-level polisher, and I've shown a quite a few here lately on the channel. Uh, grab some horses from Harbor Freight or whatever you have nearby. Grab some panels, mostly body shops in your area would be more than happy to rid themselves of some of their panels stacked up behind the shop instead of having to pay somebody else to do it. If you do that, grab some panels with some uh, soft, hard, medium clear coat, practice on all three, and practice using this. Get started on this and maybe move on from this to a one-step or a multi-step correction process, but in any case, prepare that surface for the protection of your choice. And here is uh, another alternative, another option for you. I hope that helps. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.